Hello everyone, welcome back to Premium Course BSc. Today we will discuss about design verification the software with design menu. I have my premium Excel set. You can contact me by Gmail lujimba one gmail dot com. This design column, uh, design steel beam by using Excel set. Now come back to uh, Takla Textural Designer. We continue from the previous tutorial how you can assign a uh, restraints by using uh, three different methods. Now click on the right beam at uh, the left beam. Edit and edit the property. I want to change the restraint and change it to one. So uh, this beam there, there, there is no restraint at the top and at the bottom flank. We design only change it to one. Now let's change it to one. Enter. Okay. So this beam only uh, has the support at the start point and at uh, the end point. You see uh, this distributed this load and light load, the import load, the light load is 4 kiloton meter and the uh, dead load is uh, 2.0 kiloton meter. And as uh, we uh, change the restraint, yeah, the lateral restraint to 1.1. One, one. So this main beam, no uh, restraint to prevent lateral torsional buckling occur on the main beam. Okay, now let's start run analysis and design. Do the option to run analysis design and check the beam. Take mouse over the beam. The design ratio is 1.672. Okay, now click on the moment and change it to the envelope. Yeah. The maximum moment is 40.5. Yeah, 40.5. Input it in my Excel set. Change the section. You can change to section IPE 400. The Excel set will be automatically update the, the section property and add a parameter. Now let me keep it in 200. To a hundred and input the SY, the G strength, G strength of the the beam is two hundred thirty five megapascal and the apply moment is forty point fifty. Yes, forty point fifty is correct. Okay. And the beam length is uh, 6,000 mm, 6,000 mm, and the K, you uh, the coefficient 1, 1, keep it 1, 1. Now let me check and verify with the, the structural designer. So me the result, and the result is 1.672. Uh, in my is a sit it one point six seven. Yes, we use the the methods for the I and H shape profile or equivalent bed section. Close six point three point two point three. In a, a general method, you a general approach close six point three point two point two. This method has a, a higher yes a higher result than. Uh, the lateral torsional buckling verification by using the equivalent equivalent bed dissection. Yet this one is uh, the more the most uh, economic method for the profile I and A section only. Okay, we can apply it for the I and A section only. For other shape, we use the the uh, general approach for design. Now uh, let's check for more detail about uh, other conditions. Okay, click on the 
main beam right click check the member static and classification is class 1 ok check the classification is class 1 is correct and the CA is 27.0 you can input CA here 27.0 Now let me put it the same. Uh, uh. See here, yes, and design capacity is one hundred eighty nine point nine. Then one hundred eighty nine point nine is the same. And the buckling and the moment yeah the moment measure moment is uh, 40.5 kiloton meter and the design capacity is 51.9 yeah if 51.9 is the same here and uh, buckling retro torsional buckling is 24.2 yeah 24.2 grow down and L, uh, yeah, we keep it sigmeter is correct and the K factor 1 is correct. Now let's check here 24.2. Yes, this one MBOD is 24.3. Okay, let's check it. Yeah, point 0.3. It's similar in a tactile structural designer is 24.2 and the design value they apply apply uh, moment is 40.5 yeah in my aesthetic is 24.3 and the design ratio is 1.67 67 okay come back now let me check and chain the let let draw toss no restraint on this beam come back to restrain i change it to 0 0.5 0 0.5 okay in the case we can but they are similar with this picture the main beam has a sub beam has two sub beam at the middle of the main beam to the strain to prevent lateral torsional buckling occur on the main beam at the middle yeah like the picture so uh, we use the option to input and correct the factor directly with down the other sub beam okay now let design and design check the ratio is 1.074 now let me change only the K, only the K, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, okay, now the result is 1.09, yeah, 1.07, it's similar, you can check the static, right click, check static, Yes, 37.7 for the buckling this is 37.3 okay and for the moment 51.9 yes the same 51.9 okay now you can continue to change the restraint we did and the draw restraint I change it to 0 0.3333 0 0.3333 0 0.3333 enter and copy and come back to run and let's see design again the result is 1.004 yeah now let me change the k to 0 0.3333 
So the result here in my uh, it says is 0 0.94 in this this uh, the cloud structural designer the result yes 0 0.9 yes 0 0.9 if you compare only for the uh, lateral torsional snow buckling so it's okay the deflection if 1.004 okay 0 0.9 okay it's similar this is the way you can design and check verification with the it's a set I will check more detail on the parameter and how it's important on each parameter now let me come back and I change it to the one strain now let me change it in the one one okay and design is again right click check static okay and click on the expand all to expand and check everything now let me change it to one one okay now you can check everything Yeah, the class if one the class one is correct, and we see why one hundred eighty nine point ninety five. Yeah, it the same. And for the measure moment, yeah, fifty one point nine. the same and the length LLTB is 6.00 meter so now we input this length and keep the vector k is equal to 1 is correct and the table C1 C1 is equal to 113 one, yeah now let's check the C1. Yes, it correct. It 1.32 in the structural designer only 113. And KLB is called 1C1. MCO 25.8. Yeah, 25.9. And design buckling resistance 24.2. Design buckling resistant MBOD 24.2 MBOD 24.3 Yes, it's similar So uh, now I will tell you what important uh, how to check and verify all the member the first one you should understand about the load condition we apply the load condition they are different destabilizing and stabilizing destabilizing what does mean the load apply on the member and the section can twist over its own axis without uh, stabilizing without the sub beam to prevent lateral to snow buckling or to to prevent rotate or it on axis of the main beam this is how we can select the destabilizing and stabilizing this uh, load condition apply on the main beam apply on the frame is very important you should understand about stabilizing and destabilizing and other one is the tie or load apply 
at the sea center or apply on the top and apply on the bottom plane of the member it it also impact on the design strength of the member design capacity of the member because all mode software will be applied at the sea center actually the load never really apply at the sea center it apply on the top and on the bottom of the plane only yes when you apply on the top the design capacity is more higher when you apply at the sea center okay now let me check at the sea center yeah it only 1.67 when you apply at the top it 1.89 so the result is, is very very important when you apply on the load yeah 1.89 uh, this is how you can you can apply the load to understand the the real condition or the apply apply load on the member yeah in all the software almost software use the option in the default yeah it apply at the C center in the rear structure this load apply at the top of the center uh or, or the top of the beam or, or the top flange and other one condition is the condition of the the beam the understand yeah the understand of the beam you design it as a fit support or pin support in the condition we design a simply supported beam yeah when you design in a simple support tip beam and you change it to the fit fit support, the result also different. Is it the earned condition or boundary condition or the support is very very important and affect very uh, affect on the result of the 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 member? Okay, and other one is the load condition. Load applied distributed or apply at the point load at the center or any portion of the the beam it affect on the factor of the c1 c2 and c3 yeah c1 c2 and c3 c1 c2 and c3 when you apply load at the top so the the eccentricity from the top to the center c center you must to uh, be taken into account for design so C1, C2, and C3. When you apply it at the C center, we do not uh, include the C3 in. Uh, yeah, you see here the Z G is the distance from the applying position to the C center is zero. And when you change it to the top, now the Z G is 100. This is uh the way the way or the applying position of the load and the load condition distributed load and point load affect on the different condition of the c1 c2 and c3 so the result of mco also different and we this is a very very important when you design beam you should understand the load uh, the beam condition destabilizing or stabilizing and the load apply at the top of the plane yeah top of the plane the sea center or at the bottom of the plank and the other strain of the beam at the earth and at the bottom uh, at the start point what is the restraint of the beam fit fit or pin pin support yeah and the apply load distributed load fully apply on the beam or point load apply out on the center of the beam or apply at any point of the beam so the video of the C1, C2, C3 will be changed on this brand, this uh, input parameter and the last result let me talk to you to design for the electro toslow buckling for general pro or use equivalent value section Equivalent value section you can apply and do it for the the member uh, has shape I and H section only. For other member you can use general approach. Gen general approach 
you for the overall member include I, H, and other member, but the result is uh, different from the method for I and H member or equivalent where this section. The result is uh, acceptable and very economic for designer to select the method only for the I and H section. I use uh, this method for design for I and H section only for the I method. We use general approach for design other shape or section. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial.